everyone, Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome to the Final Cut Oscar Prediction Show. Yes, I have my, it once again predicting the Oscars, and as always, I will have consequences. But before we dive into that, let you know I will be doing an Oscars Google Hangout. Yes, on the channel, you get the Movie Man live during the entire Oscars show. I'm not sure if that's going to be a good or bad thing, but it is a thing. I thought it'd be kind of cool to do, and I hope, I hope a lot of you join in, uh, chime in, you know, your feelings during the Oscars. If you got a video camera, you want to pop in and do video chat during the Oscars as well, let me know. I'll send you the link. Uh, I think I got like seven spots you can do on a Google Hangout. It's going to be my first Google Hangout. I'm very excited to do it, and I'm hoping you join us for the Oscars. That's right, hang out with the movie man during the Oscars. Should be an interesting time. Now, on to today's Oscar prediction show. I do have consequences for my predictions, and here are my consequences. Should I get three wrong, I will get up to three wrong. I will have to watch the movie The Apparition. If I get four to five wrong, not only will I have to watch Apparition, but that movie Stolen by Nick Cage. Uh, he's in it, I believe. And then uh, if we get six wrong, I'm going to have to watch those two movies and The Tooth Fairy. Seven or more wrong. It's those three movies plus What's My Number. Yes, a comedy, rom comedy. Uh, probably my one of my least favorite types of films. So I'm going to have to watch that all four of them if I get seven or more wrong. Now, I'm predicting nine categories, not all of them, the top six plus a couple of others. So let's get started right away, shall we? Uh, starting from the bottom, visual effects. I'm guessing Life of Pi. I know there were a lot of great uh, special effects films out there, but Life of Pi visually is just a stunning film that is just every screenshot is a, a art palette, and I definitely think Life of Pi is going to win for visual effects. On to uh, writing of original screenplay. I just decided to throw this in there, uh, uh, just because, and it's going to be uh, Django Unchained. That's right. I think Django Unchained will win original screenplay. Uh, just a brilliant uh, uh, script, and I really think that should take the Academy Award for that. Best Animated, I can't go against my buddy Tim Burton, even though he got Wreck-It Ralph in there. Uh, I, I gotta go with Frank and Weenie. Frank and Weenie winning Best Animated in there. Uh, I, I Probably leaning more towards Wreck-It Ralph, but I, I just gotta stick with Burton. Uh, Frank and Weenie. Here's pulling for you. Now we got the best, best supporting actress. Everybody's talking to Anne Hathaway for the little bit of screen time she had in Les Mis. She, you know, she made herself wife a thin and she sang beautifully, but I really want Sally Field to win, so I'm going to predict Sally Field will win for best supporting actress. Best supporting actor, Robert De Niro for his role. While Tommy Lee Jones did really nail it in Lincoln, I think Robert De Niro and his role in something that doesn't have the word Fokker in it uh, really will help him get the golden statue. Actress, I'm pulling for Emanuela uh, Riva. Now, I didn't see the film, but I saw a lot of buzz about it, and it's for her role in Amour. And I think Emmanuel uh, Riva is actually going to win this one. Best Actor... Daniel Day-Lewis for Lincoln. Uh, really, I know there's not always a shoe in there's always that hint of someone else might take it, like Bradley Cooper, but I really think Daniel Day-Lewis is going to go that one. Best Director, I'm throwing an upset in there. I'm going Ang Lee for that one, Life of Pi, folks. That's right. Forget Spielberg. You got one already. Uh, well, of course, Ang Lee does too, I guess. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I really would think Ang Lee with Life of Pi may just be the upset for Best Director. And Best Picture, Argo. Uh, hard to hard to put that one by uh, all the other ones, even though you know, 2012 was a fantastic year for films, and unfortunately 2013 is not quite going that same direction right now. But let me tell you, 2012 was great, and any one of these deserves a golden statue, but those are my predictions. I have a feeling I've got a couple of bad films watching my future, and I will bring reviews to you on them. Uh, and I thank you always for watching and your support. And you can always check me out, too, uh, on the YouTube channel channel doing reviews you can also check us out on uh, I'm doing right written reviews occasionally now as long as written interviews on uh, www.jedbundy.com also I Derek Carey and Corey Udler have been kind enough to have me on their podcast as a regular so you can check me out on Astro Radio Z podcast as well as occasionally on the Dixon Cider Show podcast that's right the movie man is expanding and uh, I hope uh, you will find at least one of these venues entertaining. And that'll about do it for us at the Final Cut. As always, folks, keep that ticket stub. Look forward to seeing you Sunday.